Hey everybody, Dr. R here. Welcome to a pretty big video. In this video, we're gonna talk about uh, some anatomical considerations when we're talking about cardiology. And I wanna say that, you know, this isn't like your classic anatomy, gross anatomy course in terms of cardiology. We're gonna focus on the kind of classic, you know, high yield things that come up in questions. And so you can see there's a lot of stuff on here. We're gonna do just a general overview of the heart, talk about the cardiac silhouette, look at some uh, imaging cuts that I think you should be familiar with, talk a little bit about penetrating injuries, conduction abnormalities, uh, and then a little bit about coronary artery anatomy and some terms to be familiar with. Remember, the heart has four chambers, right? Just going back to the basics here. So we have the right atrium. Now the right atrium is gonna make up a, a pretty significant portion of the right portion of the heart, okay? So that's what I want you to kind of remember with the right atrium. The right ventricle, on the other hand, if you go back to your you know, organic chemistry days, remember when we did organic chemistry molecules, you'd have a kind of dash going into the page and you'd have a wedge coming out of the page. That's kind of how I want you to think about you know, the, the right ventricle and the left atrium. So the right ventricle is kind of like your wedge. It's coming out of the page, it's coming out at you. The right ventricle is going to be very anteriorly located, whereas the left atrium is going to be on the opposite side. It's gonna be posteriorly located. Okay, so the left atrium is gonna be the posterior border of the heart, the right ventricle is gonna be anterior. And the reason this kind of comes up, there's some significance to this. You know, if we had a stab wound, okay, in the you know, third or fourth intercostal space, one of the first chambers of the heart this would affect, especially if it was near the left sternal border, is it would affect the right ventricle because it's so anteriorly placed. On the other hand, if we had an enlargement of the left atrium, it can compress some of these posteriorly located structures. Like what? Well, how about the esophagus, right? So you have the esophagus running posterior to the heart. If the left atrium gets really big, it can push down on the esophagus. What other structure is back here that we should be familiar with? The other big structure is gonna be the left recurrent laryngeal nerve, which is something we talked about a little bit in the neurology section. And if I had a lesion at the left recurrent laryngeal nerve, what symptoms would I have? I'd have hoarseness, maybe I have a cough. Remember, the left recurrent laryngeal nerve is going to actually loop under the aorta and come back up. So if I also not only had enlargement of the left atrium, but if I had like a thoracic aortic aneurysm, that can also push down on the left recurrent laryngeal nerve and present with hoarseness. So the two big things for these two structures that I want you to know is number one, I want you to know left atrium enlargement is very classic for affecting these structures. Things that cause left atrial enlargement, the classic one would be like a mitral stenosis or a mitral regurgitation. If that mitral valve that's over here, right, this is the mitral valve, if the mitral valve isn't working the way it should, if I'm regurgitating blood back, the left atrium is going to dilate, right? The same concept is true. If I have stenosis and I can't get this blood out, it's going to dilate. So that's left atrial enlargement. The second thing that I want you to remember is going to be thoracic aortic aneurysms. Like I just said, thoracic aortic aneurysms, if I have an aneurysm here, it can push posteriorly on the esophagus or the left recurrent laryngeal nerve. And then finally, we have the left ventricle, which makes up the left heart border, pretty significant portion of the left border of the heart, You know, where the most of the right side is gonna be right atrium, most of the left side is gonna be left ventricle. 